Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Where do you see yourself in? I guess it'd be Judah. Yeah. What, what would your, your father call his son? What would he identify with? Black. Black, right? Yeah. Okay, so would that make you from the tribe of Judah? Right. You know how important that is? Mm, I believe so. Believe so? What, what, what do you believe? How, how important does that make you? Mm, I mean, it was pretty proud the tribe of Judah was uh, Jesus in the tribe of Judah. Right. You're right. Now, uh, can we can we show it to you? Uh, I mean, we got you. Read that. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. It's saying it is evident, right, throughout this whole Bible that our Lord, the so-called the Messiah, right, came from the tribe of Judah, right? You identify as a black man, that means Christ also is a black man, right? With that being said, where did this dude right here come from? Yeah, where did this dude right here. Who is that and why, what, why we got, why we serving him today? Well, that, that's supposed to be Jesus, right? That's supposed to be. That's what they pushed on us, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's nowhere in the Bible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, man. See? Nah. So back to my original question. How important does that make you, knowing that you're from the same lineage as Jesus Christ? Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody that pale from the Middle East. That's, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> so that right there is apparently a lie, right? Of course. Of course. So you know how to describe what Jesus looked like in the Bible? Do you yeah. know where it's at? Um, not exactly, but I know exactly what it said about it. What is it? It said, um, my eyes, hair was like woolen, you know, uh, his, um, his skin was like burnt rice. And... We're gonna get it for you, all right? Okay. Read it. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants, these which must shortly come to pass. Say, like things which must shortly come to pass, right? Because, and what? In time, he knew that our, our, our Messiah image would be changed, right? Mm-hmm. Now they got this thing here in the church all over the world and our people are serving that, not knowing that Christ never looked like that, right? Right. Verse 14. Yeah. Verse 14, his head and his hair were white like wool. His head and his hair were white like wool. Just like your hair is woolly. It ain't white, but it's woolly, correct? Mm-hmm. Like my brother right here. His hair ain't white, but it's woolly, correct? Yeah. Now, we both know that only black people have woolly hair, correct? Yeah. As white as snow, and his eyes was a flame of fire. And his eyes was a flame of fire. Do you know why? No. Because he drank wine in moderation. I'm going to show you that. Show, show you that. Miss Lady. Read that. Genesis 49. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. Yeah. His eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth white with milk. It says his eyes shall be red with wine, because turn the wine, well, turn the water into wine, which is first milk. Right? Did you know that? No, yeah, I mean, I did, I did read about that. Yeah. You read about it. So that was the prophecy way back in Genesis of why his eyes would, would be red in Revelation, okay? And his feet like a to fine bread. And his feet like a to fine bread. Now, John the Revelator is giving the full description of the man he seen, right? Because he, he heard his name being called, and he turned around and he looked. And the man that he seen, right, he started off with his hair, then he went down to his, uh, to his eyes and then it's giving you a, a, the description of the rest of his body, right? Then he looked at his feet, because back then they didn't wear shoes, they had seven. Right, so he looked at the top of his foot, right? Rick. And his feet like unto to fine bread, right. as if they burned in a furnace. As if, just like they burned in the furnace, which makes Jesus Christ a black man, right? Because anything you burn, turn what? Darker. <laughs> Darker. Huh? Like rags, like you said, like in the furnace. You think you burn, it's going to burn up. What color is it? Brown, darker. Yeah, dark, black. brown. Dark, yeah. dark, brown. Yeah, right? Yeah. Now, how important does that make you? Who the around the I mean, to me, to me, like, as far as, to me, 
I've never really focused too much on the color of it, of the crib. I've never really focused on too much the color. I just feel like it was all about how you felt about it, I mean. So why you never focused on the color? Cause, I mean, like at the end of the day, he never really focused on our color. I mean, even though the children of Israel was his people, I mean, I mean, but at the end of the day, I don't think he, can, I don't think, cause I'm, I'm not really that dark. I feel like he don't love me no less cause I'm not that dark. Nah, you ain't, you're not, not, not saying that you gotta be dark if Christ loves you. What we're saying is that the certain people, his people, the Israelites, right? Mm -hmm. Those are the people that he came, that he dealt with. Mm -hmm. Those are his chosen people. That's how it's always been, right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people. It say the Israelites are above all people, right? Now, with that being said, you know a little bit about history, right? Yeah. When you look at these signs right here, why did these things happen to us? Why did we have these yokes of iron on, my, on our neck? Why was we sold, men, women, and children? Why did these things happen to the greatest people on earth? Deuteronomy 28. 15. You don't know why, right? Read that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. say, if we didn't listen to the, to, the, to the things that Moses was giving us back then, that he got directed from God, that all these curses would come upon us and overtake us, right? This is how we identify ourselves in the Bible, knowing that we are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, right? Give me uh, verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall I serve thine enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee. Why? Start the point. Go back to 47. 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because we didn't want to serve our God. We didn't want to keep the Sabbath day holy. We didn't want to stop smoking. We didn't want to put away the pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You see, these things that we're supposed to do, that we ordained, that we were created to do, we didn't want to do. Why? Because we were influenced by the nations around us. You see? Now that we know these things, it's time for us to stand on them. Come back to living the way we're supposed to live so we can reverse the curse. You right. see? That's why our names have been changed. We didn't right. want to listen to what God told us. Right. That's why before, like I told you earlier, I thought I was a West Indian. You see? A Trinidadian. But now I understand because of these curses, I, I can identify myself with these curses that I am not no West Indian. I'm from the tribe of Benjamin of the nation of Israel. You see? Finish that. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy right. with the Lord that sin against thee in hunger right. and in thirst and in nakedness. It say in hunger, right? We have this right now. We don't own this thing, right? No. You just went and got something to eat out of that, correct? Yeah. That's in hunger. And in thirst, right? If we if we for Aquafina, what we got to go with? Aquafina, let's just start. You want Aquafina? You know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> that's, that's Any type of drink that you might want for yourself, you got to go to who to get it? Them to get it. Now, who is the them? The other people. The other people, right? Yeah. Read. <laughs> <laughs> and in nakedness, right? And in want of all things. Right? No. And he right. shall. And he. Now, this talk about the other people, right? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now, going back to these other people. Which other people had a yoke of iron upon our neck? Come on, man, you already know. I know, but I need for you to say it so I know that you know. Caucasian, man. The Caucasian people, right? Yeah. Now, don't just think it's them. Every other nation outside of the people that's on this side had us a captivity. Right. That's why we speak all languages. We speak Portuguese, we speak Creole, we yeah. speak Spanish. Arabs. We speak everything, right? The Arabs, right? The white man and the actual African had us in captivity. You see? The Japanese man had us in captivity. The Chinese man had us in captivity. Yeah. We built the Great Wall of China. You see? These things we don't know because we were stripped from our heritage. Right. You see? And we were forced. Go back and read the top again. What they Therefore shall thy serve thine enemy, which the Lord shall send against thee, right. in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness. And then what of all things? Why you look confused, huh? Why you look confused? You never heard this before. Huh? Oh! <laughs> so what's your confusion, right? 
I mean, you see the thing that's going on. Right now today, these same things still going on. We get killed by the police, no, no police go to jail. You see? But let Ray Ray kill John from down the street. That's two lives lost. You see? So what must we do? Wow. Uh, what must we do? What you think we must do to get ourselves together? Uh, first, you know what I'm saying? First of all, the music kind of changed. Personal. That's one thing. That's 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 a strong point you just said, right? Yeah. But the music filled with all kind of foolishness to make our people hate each other. Yeah, you see, the music got to change, and I mean, and uh, it's just a lot, you know. And it's a lot I've been thinking about too. Yeah. Like, that's the nineteen. Show you something, right? Yeah. Get it straight from the God's good book, right? Yeah. What we must do to come back to being the mighty nation that we once were, right? right? Read that. Acts chapter three, verse nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted. It say repent ye therefore and be converted, right? Mm -hmm. What does convert mean? It changes your way of thinking and believing and you know how All you operate. Crazy. That's exactly what we must do. But why the church preach that come as you are? When there's no way in the Bible. The Bible just said repent and be converted. Because I don't care like you put something in the collection plate, bro. <laughs> See, you a smart brother. You need to come to the school. Stop playing out here, man. Psalm 19 to 7. Read that. <laughs> Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Right. The law of the Lord is perfect, right. converting the soul. It says the law of the Lord is perfect. Yeah. This what converts the soul. This is how we change. Right? You say change the way we think, right? Yeah. That's the start, keeping the laws of God. Right? Now, black on black crime. These yeah. things are stopped if we had the same love for our brother as we had for ourselves. If we was able to look at the next man and see Christ in him, and see like we're supposed to, then the black on black crime, it'll come to a seat, right? That's one way how we fix our community. What things plague your neighborhood? I mean, this. Like, when I go to my neighborhood, I see, uh, it, 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 it's, it's a lot going on. on. New drugs, and I mean, and, I mean, and, you know, see how these women be dressing and whatnot. And, you see? And, and now, you see how these men, all these black people make all these babies and, and now, take off. We got, a, we got a dress code that we got to live by. Did you know that? Nah, Give me numbers 1530. Let me show you something. See these things right here on this shirt? See these? Yeah. You see them on his shirt? On everybody's shirt that's out here? Yeah. You see them on their clothes right here? You see? Like fringes and fringes. Yeah. That's a part of our law. Did you know that? Of course. Read that. Numbers chapter 15 verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, right. Speak unto the children of Israel right. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. It say, speak unto the children of Israel, right? See the sign? They go from dark skin all the way to light skin. But all of us is related because all of us are the children of Israel, right? The so-called right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. We are the children of Israel, right? That's why over here on this side you see a so-called Indian man with fringes on. You see him? Right here? Look at it. Gang. Native American Indian. You see? They knew at this point in time that they were the children of Israel. You see? Right. That's why they got the fringes on. Now, and right now today, don't nobody know that we are the Israelites. The whole Bible has always been talking about us. Right. But we got to come back to it. That's why I read Acts 319. Because we got to repent and be converted. Right? Read that. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Throughout their generation. Throughout their generation. What you think that means? Um, the, from grandparents down to you and so on and so forth. All praise. That's, that's what that means throughout our generations. As long as we reproduce it, our children and our children's children must put these things on. Right? But as you can see, it stopped. <laughs> and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Now, back to the ribbon of blue. You see the ribbon? Yeah. See his ribbon? Right here? See our ribbon? We coming back to the people that we once were, you see? But these things happen because our people didn't want to keep the laws. Like, do you eat pork? Yeah, bro, I do. Do you eat shrimp, crab, and lobster? Not crab and lobster, but I eat shrimp. Do you know those, that, those they things? They bottom are, feeders, bro. They bottom feeders. Why would you eat that? Did you know God said don't eat that? Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. You knew that? Yeah, bro. We're gonna refresh you today. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Right. And the swine 
Though he divide the hood and be cloven footed, yet he should have not the cud. He is unclean to you. They say the swine. We both know the swine is big, right? Yeah. If you know, why you not trying to not eat that thing? Oh man, sin is good, bro. Sin is good, but it's okay. No, I mean like that. I mean, it, it, sin tastes good. I mean, like you know, even though it's wrong, you know, like come on, now it's good. Like so, would you rather pleasure yourself for a few seconds and guarantee death, or keep the laws and guarantee the everlasting life? That's what we got to change in our people's mind. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth